Okay, everybody. I am going to review tonight a beastly blade with CTS XHP steel, four inches. Automatically, you're thinking he's going to be doing a cold steel knife, right? Am I right? No. Spider Co. What? That's crazy. Oh, check that out. Oh, check this monster out. This is the Spider Co. 100 Pacer. And oh my goodness. I saw this the other day and just and I accidentally ran across it on eBay. I was just kind of shopping around and I found this and holy cow. Look at that monster. That at something else. Okay, so apparently the designer was inspired by a snake called the Hundred Pacer, nicknamed the Hundred Pacer in a Tai in Taiwan. You can tell it's got those snakes. Well, I'm gonna get into that later, but check it out. It's kind of like the snake version of the five point palm exploding heart technique. So you're gonna get bit, and you're gonna make it about a hundred steps, and then it's curtains for you. All right, let's check this out, get into this, and get excited about it because, oh my goodness, one, two, three, four inches. Four inches of XHP, check it out, on a trailing point blade style. Look at that. Oh, man, look at the upsweep on that. This thing, you want to see how this thing cuts? <clears throat> let's do this. All right, let's cut into something. <laughs> How is this not going to be slicey? Oh my goodness. I could do this all day long. All right. Just amazing blade. Check that out. The flat grind on that thing. Just impossible not to slice stuff open with this. This just feels like something you would use in the kitchen. But I'm, I'm digressing. I'm getting ahead of myself. Because I'm so excited. I'm really excited about this knife, seriously. All right, let's check out the handle. We got one, two, three, four, five inches. Just over five inches of G10, this textured G10, that tan. And if you look, you can see the design of that 100 Pacer Viper. I'm going to put that right here. kind of looks like this the viper skin on this thing oh man and it is right left tip up so we got that going open construction easy to clean out it's got a nice lanyard area there check this out oh wow you could probably stick a lanyard on one of these backstop things here how come i can never remember what those are called what are those called Do you know all right, <clears throat> now it is, I mean, you can check, you can look at that and see how thick it is wide. It's not very thick this way, but it is wide as far as taking up some, some of your bottom pocket space there. But my goodness, oh wow, look at that. It does have the wire clip on here. I know some people like that and some people don't. I kind of do because it's got that little thing at the end where it's easier to get onto, into your pocket. I like that a lot. It's got that inset liner lock. Just really locked up. No wiggle, no jiggle. It has milled out stainless steel liners there. Check that out. Now the width on this thing is what you're gonna, I mean that, that would be the only issue I think for some people that like bigger knives is the width. Cause you're looking at over two inches wide that way in your pocket, but man. When you get that thing open, holy heck. All right, let us weigh this thing and then we're gonna do some comparisons that are gonna blow your mind. <laughs> yeah, for a spider coat, oh my gosh. Let's check this out. All right, we're gonna start off in Europe. 145, that is not too bad for a knife of this size. Just over five ounces, 5.11 ounces. Not too horrible. 
it feels good in your hand man this thing and you can get way up here because of the way they've done this cut out here you can get up here this feels like it would just chop into some vegetables you can use this in the kitchen kind of reminds me of their that buoy that was it, the sliss buoy slice buoy and the even the uh what's the other one the chef one the spidey chef yeah just how useful this thing would be you're getting in there you like that easy clean out it's got the open construction i don't know this just feels awesome and useful but now i'm about to sell it to you i'm about to sell it to you in a big way first off let's pull out something spidey related shall we I don't have my PM2 handy, so here. There you go. The Native 5. Yeah. That's a 3 inch blade on that Native 5, right? Is it 3? Right at 3 inches. Oh, man. Now I'm going to sell it. Let us sell it to you now. Check this out. Here is the Cold Steel Recon 1. <laughs> Dang. Oh man, look at that. Look at that Spidey. I mean, this is an awesome knife and you know, the lock on this is amazing and I'm not putting that down. I love cold steel and I love the lock and you're not gonna be able to hang a truck engine off this lock or anything like that. But man, if you're not hanging truck engine, this is a pretty cool freaking knife. Oh, you say freaking? Okay, here's another one. Oh, this is the one. This is what's gonna, sh this is going to make you go out and buy this knife. If, if you're on the fence right now, check check that out. That is the Cold Steel Colossus. And if you've had a Colossus in hand, you know what a monster that is. And they are both buying homes in the same monster neighborhood. Look at that. That is three monster knives right there. Three nice four-inch beastly knives. And now I'm going to do something something so blasphemous something so evil for some of y'all something so unexpected you can't spoil the ending oh yeah you heard it you heard it let's do it one more time yeah you know what's coming boom there you go you know the thing is the four max is awesome you can't deny it the handle the grip the beastliness but the thing is this thing lives in their neighborhood. This is their neighborhood. Now, he lives in the big house at the end, at the humongous fountain, and, you know, the party girls going in and out, and the lights and the flashing, and the police are like, hey, what are you doing? Oh, it's you, Mr. Formax, never mind. But these guys, they, they live at the entrance of the neighborhood. You know, they're still in the same neighborhood of that beastly knives right there. I mean, mm, holy heck. Now this is kind of pricey. This is gonna be in the same price range as buying, well you might get it, in, you know, it's gonna be even more expensive than that. But man, if you were looking at something and you find a good deal, that is not a bad knife to have. Oh man, holding the Formax, dead gun, every time I grab this thing. This is that first gen one with all the smoothed out. Yeah, that's, yeah, he's the one, he's the one. They named the neighborhood after. But still, they live in the same four-inch neighborhood. Same beastly. Just a great knife. This is such a cool knife for a spider co. And I don't know what happened to me. To get me so into the Spideys lately. I've bought so many. But this one. This one just talked to me. I saw, I saw how long the blade was on the advertisement or on the auction ad. And it just didn't make sense to me. And I had to get I had to give it a shot. And there it is. So boom. Alright, so there you go. I think that's it. Did we do everything? We weighed it. Yeah, good weight on that thing. Five ounces is nothing for a beast like this. I mean, let's check something else out. Let's just check the Colossus out on the weight on this thing. Just real quick. I just want to see so we can just Yeah, you're looking, let's just say 6.7 ounces. Yeah, 195 grams. So you're looking at 1.6 ounces more at least, an ounce and a half more. 
I don't know. Man, that is tough. Tough to beat on the Spyderco. If you're if you're a Spyderco fan, you have to get this. Seriously, if you're a Spyderco fan and you like the PM2 and you like the military and you're looking for something, just you know, in that whole idea of the military, the big knife, this one, you know, I borrowed your military. And if you're looking to get another knife like that, this one right here, you know what I'm talking about. You sir, you start with a D. That's you. This one right here. You will not be unhappy with this. If you like the military, you like the big monster blades that Spider, you know, that Spyderco has, and you like the PM2. The PM2 is a little bit, you know, lighter and smaller. That's more EDCable for some folks. But this thing, you cannot. You won't go wrong with it. Seriously, if you have the money for this. And you're thinking, I don't know if I should. I really like Spyderco, but blah, blah, get it. This is a fun knife. This is a great, useful knife. The steel is unbeatable. XHP on this thing. Just unbeatable on that. I think you're a winner all around there. And as far as the price goes, I think you could, you know, if you shop around, you might be able to find a little bit cheaper, but I don't think you'd be unhappy for it. All right, I think that's it. I'm done enough gushing on this knife, and I love it. Seriously. Get over to Facebook. Let's talk about this knife over there. Let's talk about your knife over there. Let's talk about your Spyderco obsession over there. Let's talk about your hatred of Spyderco over there. Let's talk about some different stuff over there. It's just a lot of fun over there. Over there. And, hey... One more thing, please hit the bell down there so that you know when my videos are coming in. A lot of people are unsubscribing. It may just be because of my voice or, you know, my bald head that they're unsubscribing. But if it's, that's not it, some other people are being unsubscribed or not getting notices on my video. So if you wouldn't mind hitting the bell, hitting the subscribe, like and share with your friends. And that's about it. I'll talk to you later.